There's something about fresh juice that makes me feel like I'm doing something extra, extra special for my body. Today I'm making a mega delicious, super refreshing and ultra hydrating pineapple strawberry juice inspired by the lovely Fully Raw Christina and I cannot wait to share it with you. I'm starting by washing my fruits with baking soda, white vinegar and fresh water and letting those guys soak for at least 15 minutes. After their spa day, I'm giving them a rinse to wash off any remaining yuckiness and then it's off to the cutting board we go. I'm working with my Nama Vitality 5800 and like most juicers, it requires you to cut your produce into smaller pieces to fit into the hopper. So that's what we're about to do. I'm starting with my pineapples and they are insanely juicy. These sunshine yellow babies are packed with vitamin C, manganese, fiber, B vitamins, and lots of minerals. And together they help your body fight inflammation, aid digestion, heal tissue, and so much more. Um, is this a fountain of youth? Next up, it's lime time, and I'm so excited to add these little powerhouses to the mix. Like pineapples, limes are high in vitamin C as well as antioxidants. These cuties may prevent kidney stones, reduce your risk of heart disease, promote healthy skin, boost your immunity, and so much more. Maybe I should add more limes. Anybody else agree? Moving on, we're hitting the apples, and I'm using Granny Smith apples in this recipe. Green apples are another power source containing vitamins A, C, E, K, a bunch of the Bs, and potassium. These gems could improve your hair and skin's health, improve your vision, lower cholesterol, improve digestion and joint health, increase bone strength, and even more. Even more? Yep, even more. The last weapon in my arsenal is the Mighty Mighty Strawberry. Another one in the vitamin C lineup, strawberries may aid in improved heart health, reduce inflammation, regulate blood sugar, lower high blood pressure, and well, there honestly just isn't enough time in this video to list it all, but you get my point. With everyone prepped, it's time to make our juice and not a moment too soon. I'm grabbing handfuls of fruit and adding them to the juicer as evenly as possible to keep these guys well blended and keep the batches even. It's feed, 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 pour, pour, pour until we're all done. The Nama juicer does a really great job of reducing the amount of pulp that makes it into your juice, but I like to strain mine before storing it in mason jars because, listen, pulp and I are not chummy and I need my juice to be as smooth as possible. With all of the fruit that we're using today, this recipe makes four 32 ounce jars of fresh juice and I cannot wait to enjoy it all. By filling each jar to the very, very top and securing them with tight fitting lids, I can preserve my juice in the fridge for three to four days without them oxidizing and going bad. I like to drink one of these in the morning to start my day with hydration and all the things that are super good for me. Ah, the beauty of batch juicing. Listen, make this and tell your friends you're the mastermind behind this magic. I won't tell. Happy juicing everybody.